What's going on you guys? It's me, Mr. Lombax. Now, in the future, I'm going to be changing it. I already posted my community wall or my community tab on my channel. You can go back to it. You can see it. That I am currently in the stages of rebranding. Pretty much just changing my name. I don't want to be called Mr. Lombax anymore because pretty much that is a copyright name. And though I haven't been told anything as of yet, I just decided to change it. Um, Make up my own name. So bear with me have it might take another week or so but i'm in the process like i said of changing that changing my channel name new business email as well as new uh new names for my social media just changing my instagram and twitter as well probably to the same name as my youtube channel and i'm gonna have like a whatever logo and whatever banner um everything's gonna be made by me so i'm not professional i'm just probably just gonna use a picture of me or whatever or like stripe pack or something i don't know, just something generic you know just so i won't be you know in trouble or anything later on in the future or whatever but anyway let's just continue on with the video you read the title is pubg something that has been highly requested of me to cover and do the pubg game pack for the strike pack for my past and go in i don't have it here as you can see but right here the fourth slot i'm having a fourth slot because i do want to keep these for future um for future reference because future video ideas coming maybe later this week and next week so be in the lookout for that but the fourth slot right here we're gonna go down all the way down to PUBG right here. Not to be not to be confused with the legacy. We're gonna go with PUBG version 2.0.1. If you want me to cover legacy and you know, exactly what the difference differences are between legacy and PUBG exactly in a separate video, I will. Because just I don't want to make this video too dang long. And this is my very first PUBG video, so I'd rather start with the OG, which is just a regular PUBG version 2.0.1 going in let's go now right here you guys already know the jazz match in game always match in game settings at all times in all these game packs global mods we got hair triggers enable of course global mod auto hold breath um i'm gonna enable that i'm gonna enable that so i can show you guys in game when you have a sniper rifle a scoped in sniper rifle global mod auto run you got auto run or holster run i'm gonna just go over one i'm gonna go over the auto run just Pretty much speaks for itself. It all auto sprints for you once you start sprinting with your once you start moving with your analog stick. ADS anti recoil quick edit. Quick edit, leaving that on. I'm gonna show you how to adjust your um your your um your recoil in game. It's pretty simple. Same way you do um in other game packs like COD and stuff like that. Profile switch mode, manual. You guys already know how I feel about this. I, I used to use um solid light bar. But I, I recently switched to manual because I just feel like it's better doing manual because sometimes the light bar can, can the weapon swap can mess you up because you got to constantly repress the triangle. Then when you die and you respawn, you got to reset and all that. So it's better and it's best you use manual for, for those for those reasons. Class one primary. Okay, so it looks like here and I'm going this same same way you're looking at it. I'm going through it with you guys. We're doing this together. Now, same way you got green red and i'm guessing blue okay these are pretty much weapon profiles you kind of the same thing weapon profiles like you guys that are familiar with the game packs of my other videos like for modern warfare and stuff like that and for warzone and and black ops i believe this is a game packs you got green red and blue green indicating triangle y on xbox red indicating circle b on xbox and blue indicating x or some people say cross same thing or a on xbox so you got three different profiles but blue it looks like blue is for the pistol only. So you can have rapid fire, ADS dynamic fire, and quick scope. Why would you have quick scope into it? Anyway, um, I'm guessing you're gonna want to run this um uh, for the for the pistol, for the pistol only rapid fire. Do not mess with the recoils, leave these numbers unless you already know your numbers yourself. Unless you're already familiar with this game pack and you know the, the recoil values already, you can put them here. If not, just leave it like that because you're going to set it. I'm going to show you how to set it on, on the fly, manual, yourself. It's quick, easy, and simple. I'm going to show you in game. That's what this tutorial is about. Um, Going back to the top for triangle, uh, we're going to leave it regular fire. Leave this alone. And regular fire. Regular fire. Or should I? Nah, regular fire. Because I, I don't want to screw you guys up. Because I want to show you guys on first, the very first video. Like I said, if I get a, a bunch of requests to go over the other game pack or more in depth, of other like mods that got that has to do with this game pack i will i don't want to jam everything and explain too much because a lot of you guys can get confused so i want to try to cut back and, and you know go one step at a time all right ads mods we got auto lean crouch aim 
Rapid crouch aim. See, like, see, see what I mean? Like, there's a bunch. See, like, every drop down, you got five here. Now, to me, the most, the very first I want to go over is auto lean. I feel like that's the most used, especially in PUBG and stuff like that. I mean, shooting from distance or peeping around corners and stuff like that. I'm going to go with auto lean. Um, like I said, if you guys want in any future, like, videos of more breakdowns and stuff like that, let me know. If I, if I get a bunch, I'll bring it to you. You guys already know. Auto lean. I want to bring you guys stuff that you guys actually, you know, want and ask about, you know. Now, fire mods. We got auto ADS, crouch fire, and rapid fire. Now, fire mods. These are these are these are automatically going to start shooting for you the moment you ADS, or I guess the moment you crouch, and and it's also going to you know why you're crouching and rapid crouch fire is going to crouch up and down, up and down while firing your gun. Auto ADS is like when you start firing, it's gonna ADS at the same time. Pretty much these mods, I will, I would typically leave them disabled because um these have similar mods um for like Modern Warfare. I think I believe Modern Warfare has them. They have them also as paddle mods, which you guys already know how I feel about that. Just paddle mods are a no go. So right here, left paddle mod disable disable. Why? Because like I said in my previous videos, I feel like having a mod in these in these um, paddles are you're handicapping yourself because if you want to remap any button on the controller, you can by leaving it disabled. Let's say you have rapid fire on the left and like crouch aim on the right, you would not be able to remap any button to the paddles as you wish. And a lot of us likes to play, you know, X and circle, jump and crouch. Either you got the right paddle for crouch and jump or the, the left paddle for crouch and jump. So in that case, you want to leave them both disabled. So always leave these both disabled. Now just double check everything. Leave your fire mods disabled. Um, auto lean. The pistols again. The values. If you know the values, just do um fix them here yourself. If not, I'm gonna show you guys in game on how to adjust your your recoil. Boom boom. Regular fire. And regular fire. I'm leaving these both regular fire because I'm gonna show you how to how to do um how to manually switch your profiles in game. So I'm gonna show you pretty much. Actually, so I'm gonna show you. I can um. I can do rapid fire, but that would be kind of uh yeah, yeah I don't want to confuse you guys. I'll I'll leave I'll leave these two. If you want, like I said, you don't have to necessarily follow exactly the way the way I'm I'm running this running this down, showing you guys. You can have whatever you want, dynamic, rapid fire, whatever. These are the two weapon profiles, and then you got the pistol profile. Again, if you know your values, you put them here for each profile, and then I'm gonna show you in game of how to switch between the profiles. And you quickly switch between them. I'm also gonna show you how to disable all mods when entering a vehicle because I know let's say you have rapid fire on R2 or whatever or R1 if you're playing flip make sure you match it here and if you have a hard time trying to drive the vehicle I'm gonna show you how to quickly disable and enable the mods let's go now always remember guys you should be in tournament mode you want to get to my pass mode as I like to call it you hold the left small black button in the back of the stripe pack click that right paddle you're gonna be in the first LED slot but that's not where um this game pack is at PUBG is on the fourth slot. That will be the fourth LED. Hold left black button and navigate using the right paddle until it gets that fourth LED light. Once I'm there, let it go, and that's it. I'm on my PUBG uh, game. Hi, you guys. Now, bear with me. This is my first time actually playing this, but with my knowledge of the game, of these game packs and all that, my past and tutorials, I'm bringing it to you guys nonetheless. Now, first things first, I want to go over with you is the auto lean. It's pretty much self explanatory. You ADS. And you go left and right and see an auto leans for you instead of you having to click in the analog sticks it also works first person as well it may it just makes it easier it makes it like a little easier you know be able to win your fights faster and better now weapon profile i'm gonna just keep it going weapon profile the way you activate them again you, you to me you got two you got one and two green one's the first what profile circle will be red the second x is just for the pistol but um i'm gonna show you how to switch between them simple as this manual you can also have it when it's automatic when you press triangle, the PS4 light bar, but like I said, please just don't. But me, I'm going over manual. This, these are, this is my settings. This is the way I would run things. You, you can watch my tutorial and set it and change things to, to how you see fit. All right, but these, this is all my, my ways. This is how I play, how I would play, and my understanding. You hold the touchpad and press triangle. That's for the first one. The controller will vibrate and the light will turn, the light will turn green. Indicating that you're in, the, you're in the first weapon profile. Then, if you want the second, you will hold the touchpad and press circle. Light will turn red. You get two. You get two um, vibrate. 
But for this part, second video, at this point, I'm going over the first web profile. Now I'm gonna go. Sh I'm gonna show you an anti report. Do this privately, training in custom games by yourself. It's like that. Nobody can message you. Even though people can still message you, but you know you can't die and stuff like that. Just training is is a better way to go. Once you you want to set up the, the web profile for that certain gun, when you find it and stuff like that. Now you find a blank wall and just ADS. Well, don't just almost ADS and shoot. Make sure you got the right um the right fire mode on and just eight they got a war here straight up right now to edit that you're gonna want to ads shoot down the attack at this point you can let go of r2 i'm still holding l2 i don't play flip i play default i'm still holding l2 now every time i press down the controller will vibrate it's vibrating right now let's say i'm, I'm not counting but you would be counting you know it's like that you know exactly how many how many times you went down how many times you go up, how many times you go left and right. You can also edit the um adjust your left and right recoil. So if you press left on D-pad, it's gonna vibrate, bring the recoil, you know, it's gonna push the, your um ADS to the left. Now let's just say that's about it. Now you let go of everything, ADS, and just uh test. Now it brings it down a little much, it brings it down very fast. So I will say I'll go up maybe maybe by 10. So again, I will ADS, shoot it down, let go R2. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of L2, you get a hard vibrate indicating that it's locked it's locked in, it's saved. Now you ADS. Uh, that, that's, that's a lot better. That's, that seems alright. That seems alright. Right. You would you would typically just ADS empty out your whole clip just to see exactly your recoil. Like see exactly the, the pattern, which way it goes. And that's almost that's almost perfect. Obviously, you're gonna get bullet spread and stuff like that. You, the bullets are gonna spread. You know, it's not gonna be. Just, it's not meant to be like beam, like only one. You know, <laughs> down the wall. You know, you're gonna you're gonna get spread. But you could get it to where it's like, look, that's 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 pretty good, right? You have to adjust. You know, obviously for every different gun, because every different gun in this game is have its own recoil, especially like AR and SMG and stuff like that. You know, for like rifles, sniper rifles, pistols, you don't really have to. And speaking about pistols, let me just show you real quick how to enable and disable rapid fire on the go on the fly. Very simple. You got your pistol out, any semi automatic you want to apply rapid fire for. You will hold the touchpad and press R1. The controller just vibrated. Now, if you ADS and shoot, you will get I got rapid fire. See that? Pretty cool. Rapid fire. Pretty cool. Now obviously it's bringing my recoil down. Why? Because I just adjusted it for this first weapon profile. I adjusted it for the, my primary, this AR. So the recoil is based on whatever you set it for for that AR. Just just bear that in mind. Just keep that in mind. And the way you go about going disabling the rapid fire and going back to regular fire, you would just hold the touchpad and press R2. The controller vibrate. And now if I if you ADS and shoot. See, I no longer have rapid fire, but it's, bring, it's bringing my ADS down. Why? Again, it's because of the anti-recoil. Because I set, or you would set the anti-recoil for this weapon that I just showed you guys. Now, I want to show you how to disable all mods, disable all mods on the controller. Well, not disable, suspend pretty much. To suspend them in case you get inside a vehicle and you want to drive the vehicle, you know, and, and you have like anti-recoil on and stuff like that. It will interfere the way you, you the driving mechanics are. Because you'll be driving, you'll be using certain buttons that you have mods associated with, with, with that specific button. Simple as this. Everything's done with the touchpad. So you will hold the touchpad and press square. That light flash, what was that? Purple, I believe. Pink or purple? Well, let's say purple. And you get, a, you get a strong vibrate, indicating the mods are now suspended. Which means now you got no mods. No mods is active. See? I ADS. See, I don't have, I don't have that auto lean. That's good. 10 minutes is all I need. ADS, see I'm moving left and right, and usually if I use, use left and right, it will do this, you know, without me having to click it in. But since the mods are disabled or suspended, you know, you don't have them. Now, to get the mods back to exactly where you left off, you would just enable your profile. So, hold the touchpad, press triangle, it enabled that, that first one profile, the green one, and now you're good to go. See how, see how that works? See how simple that is? Suspend everything, ADS. We had nothing. Hold touchpad, triangle, ADS, and now you got all the mods back. And yeah, that's about it. Last but not least, auto run.
Simple as this. And there you go. The yeah, auto run. See how that works? Usually you have to click in the, the analog stick, I believe, to run. See? But if you do, it will kind of mess you up, so it will stop you. But the mod does it on its own. The mod will auto sprint for you. Just hold up, and you begin sprinting. If you disable all mods, you will not be able to sprint. See? You will not be able to sprint. Everybody is different to each their own. Like I always say, that's my quote to each his own. I'm sticking to it. Um, use your settings, apply your settings, your go to, you know, this tutorial is just a quick breakdown, a, a quick explanation of everything right as of right now. Being a boy, if you like this video, if it helped you out, drop a like, subscribe if you are new, check out my other content, all my other tutorials on all other games like Packish and Cronus Zenish. And I'm out. Peace. Stay safe, everybody.